Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm TSC for One Using Codices. If this is your first time visiting my channel, or in case you have missed it, please make sure to watch my roadmap video. Or there you will find a link to a document which shows you how to watch the videos. There are categories that I have created for all my videos, and then you can follow each one in order to learn specific topics. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use hysteresis function in the structure text. So let's get started. Hysteresis is a useful concept in the on-off control systems. Assume that you want to control the temperature of a room by turning a heater on or off. You may determine a comfortable temperature, such as 25 degrees Celsius, and want to keep the temperature around that value. Without using hysteresis, your control system may end up turning the heater on and off so frequently that the heater doesn't last long. As you can see here, when the temperature goes below the comfortable temperature, the heater turns on and as a result the temperature will start to rise and as soon as it goes above that value, the heater will turn off. So heater will turn on and off repeatedly over here, around that temperature. While using hysteresis, you define a dead zone like this within which the state of the heater doesn't change, as you can see in the shown graph here. If we assume that initially the temperature is below T low, the heater will turn on as the controller starts to operate. The heater will turn on, then the temperature will start to rise, and until the temperature reaches T high, the heater will, will remain turned on, and only after that the heater will turn off. Then the temperature will may start to decrease, it will decrease and it will get till T low and only after that point the heater will turn on. It will be turned on back again and during this period from T high to T low it's, it's the state of the heater will not change. So either it will remain on or it will remain off. So this will prevent the repetitive on and off situation for the heater. Let me now show you how we can implement this in codices. I have created a new project and added a visualization to it. I also have declared these variables that you can see here. The current temp, which is an integer variable showing the current temperature that we have. Temp underline low and temp underline high are also integer variables. You can see the default value that I have determined for them, 23 and 27 degrees. And we have two Boolean variables which are heater on off and heater with hysteresis. The first one is going to kind of show us the case in which we don't have the hysteresis and the second one is the case when we have the hysteresis. In the visualization I have two lights to represent the on-off controlled heater and the on-off controlled heater with hysteresis. You can see the associated variables for each lamp. I also have a slider here which is associated with the current temp. So through this I will determine the current temperature while we are in the run mode. I have here an if statement which determines when the heater should be on or it should be off for the case without hysteresis. So we don't have hysteresis here. You can see that if the temperature, if the current temperature is smaller than the average of low and high temperatures, then the heater will be on, otherwise it will be off. Now we are going to implement the case with the hysteresis. Hysteresis function block is provided by UT library which needs to be added to the project. To do so, you need to double click on the library manager, click on add library and look for util. So as you can see here, it is font here. So we can add it to our project and then we will be able to use the function blocks, functions which are included in that library. First, we need to declare an instance of that function block. We can call it hysteresis01. And to do so, we can click in the variable declaration area, right click, select refactoring and choose add variable. In the type, you can click on this arrow here, use the input assistant. In the text search, you can start to type hysteresis. And you can see it appears here, util.hysteresis. If I click on OK, I need to specify a name. So I'm going to call it hysteresis01 and then click on OK. 
this shows you that that will appear in the, the the new variable that we are going to declare will appear over here in the PLC underline PLG. And now you can see that it is declared. In order to refer to that, you can start to type history this zero one and then open parentheses. It shows you the inputs and outputs that you need to provide. So input variables are in high and low they are integer and the output variable is the is called as out and it is boolean so you can start to type maybe in and then assign a variable to it the input variable that we are going to use here is the current temp and then provide the next ones as well but this way you may make uh, little mistakes and that may create you problems while you want to compile the code instead of doing it Another way is to right click here, choose input assistant, go to the text search, type again hysteresis. You can choose hysteresis 01, double click on it, and then you see that input and output uh, arguments are already there. Now we need to determine these variables. I'm going to copy and paste them. And that's it. Now if we save the project, we are in the simulation mode. Log in and run it, we should see the effect of the hysteresis which we just introduced. So here you can see that initially we have 18 degrees as the temperature. Both of the heaters will be on. If I continue to increase the temperature, the current temperature, when it reaches 25, the on off control heater will turn off. For temperatures higher than 25, it, it will remain off. And for temperatures lower than 25, it will turn on immediately. So you can see that it is turning on and off while the other one with hysteresis is off. In the case of heater with control with the hysteresis, if I increase the temperature, it will remain on until we pass 27 degrees. And only after that, it will turn off and it will remain off when the temperature is going down until we reach 23 degrees. And only at that point, it will turn on again. So you can see that between 23 and 27 degrees, the state of the heater with hysteresis doesn't change, but you can see that the heater with the on off control without hysteresis is changing its value repeatedly. So this is a way to prevent this situation and increase the lifetime of the heater. All right, so I hope you have learned the concept of hysteresis in this video, and you have also learned how to implement it using the structure text. Please don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your network. Thanks for watching and see you next time in another video. Bye for now.